Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Today, we reflect on the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 2, verses 13 to 15, followed by 19 to 23. St. Matthew in his Gospel is trying to elaborate two points. First, that the Almighty God is preserving and protecting Jesus because he was sent for a purpose. And secondly, that Jesus is the fulfillment of the prophecy concerning the Messiah. Matthew's emphasis here is the truth that Jesus is the embodiment and fulfillment of the mission and identity of Israel because everything that God called Israel to be is Jesus himself. Secondly, we will see the different responses a person can have towards the knowledge of the kingdom of heaven and their consequences. The gospel shows us that there will come a time that the enemy will make ways in order to destroy our lives and especially our relationship with our God. Remember, the enemy has come to steal, kill and destroy, but by the divine mercy and grace of God, we can get rid of those unholy things and thoughts. No matter how difficult things get, they obeyed God and did what he asked them to do. No matter how difficult things are, we need to persevere and remain obedient to the commandments that God teaches us in the Bible. As we begin our reflection, it must be noted that the Magi have left after paying homage to the young Jesus through another route. In this verse, an angel warns Joseph that he must flee to Egypt to escape the wrath of King Herod, an event known to all of us as the flight of Egypt. How God protects and how we have to respond to God's voice. Here's an example of Saint Joseph. No doubt, no fear, no anxiety. Like Saint Joseph, we have to believe and follow in faith. Matthew recounts that an angel of God warned Joseph to take Mary and Jesus and go to Egypt to escape the wrath of King Herod, who would seek to out Jesus to murder him. Joseph, Mary and Jesus left immediately and remained in Egypt until Herod died, after which time they returned to Israel after an angel informed Joseph in a dream. Matthew completes this narrative by informing the reader that this fulfilled the statement out of Egypt I called my son. This statement out of Egypt I called my son first appeared in Hosea chapter 11 verse 1 where Hosea records these words of God when Israel was a youth I loved him and out of Egypt I called my son. It is clear that in Hosea's context that God is talking about the people of Israel. The illustrative status of Israel as God's son is first affirmed when God called Moses and prepared him to lead Israel out of Egypt. God explained to Moses that Israel is my son, my firstborn. When Israel was in captivity and bondage in Egypt, God would call his son, the nation of Israel, out of Egypt. Hosea 11, 1 accurately sums it up. Then with out of Egypt, I call my son. Now here in the New Testament, the writers Matthew and St. John show that an Old Testament prophecy can sometimes be an event that prefigures something similar and more significant that would happen in the future. There is another important aspect of this prophecy that should be encouraging to all of us. 
just as israel has a unique relationship with god as their father so we also can call him abba father abba in hebrew means father as paul explains in romans chapter 8 verse 15 when we believe in jesus we are adopted as children and we also have an intimate relationship with god And so in the end let's believe in the plans of our father in heaven he knows the best for us he plans for us so systematically and perfectly well trust in the plan of god just like saint joseph secondly always remember to listen to the voice of god speaking to you through the scripture through the prayer time through the various people spiritually in prayer listen to the voice of god the lord is giving you a guidance a discernment the j- journey forward let's listen to him carefully and humbly be obedient to the work and the will of god in doing so we may have highs and lows in our life but that doesn't mean that god is not with us god is with us in our journey of life he is taking care of all our plans up perfect human plans in accordance to his divine plan and his divine plan is a plan full of a future full of hope a future full of success a future full of abundance let's trust in the abundance of our god and creator and thank the almighty as we pray together lord jesus help us with the gift of faith to understand your plan for us in our lives and journey with you in life's journey life's journey amen